Hello, greetings from Exentra Business Solutions. In this video tutorial, the following topics will be covered. In this video, we shall learn how to start and end a shift. So let's start. So in this video, we shall learn how to start and end a shift. So this is the POS screen. Let's say you have opened your store in the morning and your cashier will come and will start the shift by clicking on this start shift button. Here you can see there are various nodes denominations. Now let's say when you started the shift in the morning the cashier had 100 kd in the drawer. So we'll select this node 10 denomination, enter 10, click here and select OK and the system will ask that cash in amount is 100kt do you want to proceed and we'll click yes and the shift has been started now let's say this customer came named Josefa to so select and he has purchased two items so we'll select any two items select this one and he wants to make a cash payment of 10 kd so we'll click on this payments click on cash and click on ok we'll make one more transaction with this customer select this here we'll select the items that he has purchased Now here we'll make the payment in card and cash. So I'll click on this payment and the customer says that he has he will pay 5 kd as cash and 5 kd by card. So I'll click on cash, we'll select 5, and click on OK. And now you can see the balance is 5 kd. So we'll click on card, select visa and click on ok now in the afternoon the cashier shift is coming to an end so he will end the shift by clicking on this end shift button here he will enter the cash out amount which is there in the drawer so let's say when the cashier ends the shift there is 150 kd of cash in the drawer so the cashier will select the node denomination click here and we'll click ok yes. and the shift has been ended once you have ended the shift the shift report print will automatically come out as for this instance we don't have the printer setup so we'll click on this shift history option to see the report of this shift so we'll select this and select this particular shift and click on print so this is the complete shift history report where you will find the start time, the end time, what are the sales, what was the cash in and what was the cash out and so on. Now if you see the cash in amount that we had entered was 100 kd and we made two transactions in which 5 kd was in card and 15 kd is in cash. So the total cash that we have is 115 kd but at the time of ending the shift the cashier entered the cash out amount as 150 kd so here the system is showing that we have 35 kd of cash in excess as in this example there is cash in excess but similarly if the cashier has entered the lesser cash out amount there can be cash shortage also. So this is how we can start a shift, end a shift and see the shift history report.